there's always sharp departures at different skill levels with Protoss where you really need to learn different builds and different skills. So trying to shoehorn like one build all the way to GM uh, does feel a little unnatural whilst I could, I could kind of, you know, do it. It's, it's such a big learning step from there and it's for such a small audience that I really don't think that part of the video matters as much. <laughs> Masters to GM, even though I know obviously it's part of the show. Um, I'm glad a lot of people have got a lot of help out of it though, and I really do think that's great. I just don't think that last episode is going to be that big to help people. On the other hand, I really appreciate that so many people are invested in it, are looking forward to it, are enjoying it. But, uh, I just, uh, yeah, we, we got very little support for a few episodes in a row in terms of, like, live viewers was low, interaction was kind of low, we weren't getting a lot of questions while I was doing it, and there was also very low kind of tips and support. It does take a, a pretty vast amount of effort to do. So, um... It's just a very tiring stream always, right? Oh jeez, did I just go spawning pool before Overlord? Yes, I did. I was not paying attention. Probably don't need to do that one. I mean, it just keeps lava production going, so it's not the worst. It's a very early spawning pool, of course, guys. Um, this does delay the Overlord, though, the Scout. We're playing Maples. This is a very hard match for me. Uh, Maples is insanely good. And he does meme builds, which means even though I can definitely beat him sometimes because he'll just do such a crazy build that it just will fall flat, relying on that is uh, never really particularly effective. So we can put one on gas, you can go there. Alright, you can go out this way, I guess, and then... Another Overlord out that side. Oh, actually, I do have those camera locations set up. Okay, that's good. Oh, we did find it. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to find that, damn. Did he chrono again, guys? I don't think he did. I think he might be just be going Stalker then. Ah, oh, Voidray. Okay, that's good to know. Never should have pulled the other two queens up. Get the overlords back. Oh, that's like the second time today I've already done that. How am I doing? Keep doing this. Alright, let's go.
Good play. As soon as I didn't see an oracle by, what do you reckon, 420? No oracle at 420 means you need to just pound out roaches. So Roachhorn, I got multiple supply blocked, which was rough. I think Roachhorn at like 430, and then as soon as the Roachhorn's done, make roaches, and you should be okay. Even if you're just building roaches off 50 drones against this build, you can afford to be down on workers. Because their transition sucks, but I just get too stuck in the mindset of like, oh no, I gotta make, um... I gotta make drones. And I kinda did, because my... I just kept getting supply counts. Too big supply box early. Um, but yeah, he's only on 44 workers. It's a pretty big commitment. Was it one, two, three, four? Four gate. So he goes for a four gate glaives, and he hits me with a pretty crisp eight glaive timing, right? So it's not like the biggest timing. You just need to have some roaches out front to deal with that, and you'll be all right. GG's. Really well played by him. Got to warm up my openings. My openings are rough. Um, clean it up. Clean it up. That, 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 that pool before Overlord really hurt me. It really messed me up, man. I'm a silver one, Zerg Toss player. I'm going to start watching your intro into playing the racist pig. Hope to report results soon. Hey, good luck, all star. I hope to see you doing well, dude. Hope it goes well, all star. Uh, Dark Souls is a super hard, good game. Pig play Elden Ring. Yeah, I played the original Dark Souls. Very fun game. Dark Souls is amazing, guys. Elden Ring is a bit more accessible, in my opinion, just because there's a little bit less running um, through, like, long parts. You get to, like, repeat battles, repeat, like, over and over again. So, so there is more chance to kind of learn the habits and, and the timings and things. Um, on the other hand, there is this, like, ultimate satisfaction from OG Dark Souls when you're trying to, as you memorize that run all the way to the boss, and it kind of forces you to calibrate your mind through the pain a little bit more. Um, which is, I think, a really big part of, of games that are ultimately satisfying for me are the ones that kind of force you to reframe your thinking. And if you're able to do that, it becomes ultimately satisfying. But if you can't reframe your thinking, it's like, this game fucking sucks, man. Like, if you think about it, all the best games have elements of that, oh, this game fucking sucks, man, sort of attitude for people who just aren't able to recalibrate how they think about the game and how they learn for it. So that's that's kind of like a big thing OG Dark Souls has. Elden Ring does as well, but, only, but to a lesser extent. I'd say a much lesser extent. Alright, so this time we go for the Overlord, guys. He could absolutely cannon me. If he does, I will try the spine crawler response, which shouldn't work, but we'll see how we go. Why delayed link speed? That's just the, the build order. You can't afford everything at once. If you're gonna have to build so many queens and spores, I don't know, I just feel like even if you go link speed, they're still in your face and they still cause you a lot of problems. Spawning pool's like two seconds late, guys. That's a bit sloppy. Not the cleanest build order for me. I feel like you're still going to have problems. Um, and, and the link speed, like, you just always end up broke. So for me, I'm just like, you know what? I can defend with queens and slow zerglings. Rainer does this build sometimes. He was doing it for a while, a few months back. He stopped doing it because people, top pros, found ways to punish it pretty consistently. But... Uh, that is top pros, you know. I haven't, I haven't found people who can, can I, I haven't found games where I'm like, oh man, this guy's actually actively punishing me for not having link speed really well, you know. <laughs> I haven't really seen too much of that. A little bit sloppy of a build order, guys. Now you go there. Fix the build, fix the build. Okay, you go there. You go there. Yeah, link speed's uh, definitely very good for controlling adepts and stuff, so you just need to be a bit extra careful with your slow zerglings tracking shades and your queens being out on time in position. So what we can do is we can also get a creep tumor first, which is something I've been meaning to experiment with, but I haven't actually done yet. And we're just going to pull back here. Meanwhile, that's going to go in. He's already chronoing his uh, warp gate, which is super weird, guys. Looks like it's some sort of three gate timing, I would guess.
Stargate with an Oracle. Cool. See, this, these supply blocks are pretty rough, but I think it'll be okay, as long as we're well positioned, which I wasn't. Really good chaos. Attack. Mineral field 
Good job of hanging on, considering how bad the start was. I was completely fucked from the very start, so... That was actually a really good job of just holding on as long as I did there. Um, let's go back to the start and study. Go to study the openings. Can't expect myself to just do it perfectly with no practice and being too lazy to watch the replays. Gotta do both, mate. Alright. So third queen into creep tumor I think is actually a really good way to start. Um, even though it does slow down your lava coming out. I just got to remember I can afford the third queen and the third hatchery both pretty quickly. Um, so I think that's that's actually an okay way of doing it. Yeah, I get that third hatchery straight away at 245. Um, cool, 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 cool. He did a really good job of just being elusive, kind of luring me around. you got to keep pumping those queens. Um, uh, don't pull the queens into the main to cover it. Just pull them back to the natural. If they'd pulled back to the front, they might have killed that adept, which would have been good. Losing one drone is not the end of the world. It doesn't really matter too much. Pros regularly lose one drone to the first adept. But Oracle Overlord positioning. Bam, bam. Is this the best position? I'm always going to be covering my main. It's my natural mineral line that's actually the most vulnerable. I think this Overlord I'll actually always put out here. Then I'll put the one up there. Last but not least, I'll chuck one here. One, two, three, four, five, six overlord. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Because then I wouldn't have been, um, this oracle wouldn't have been able to slide in. But this is a, a pretty smart angle for him to come from. That's exactly what I would do if I was playing Protoss as well. And my queens are just a little out of position. Whereas, realistically, if you see him coming from that angle, that's an easy sandwich. Four queens hit him from both sides. He, he should do no damage with the first wave. Instead, he got two drones. Almost got a third. Oh, he did actually get a third, didn't he? Oh, he got four. I didn't think he... Yeah, that's terrible for me. That's so bad. Losing four. I mean, yeah, I got him deep in the red. But I shouldn't be taking that much damage. And then I'm a little slow to re-drone here. Got five lava. There we go. I do start droning. But he follows up with two adepts, which is really nicely done. Um, my link speed's actually way earlier than I normally would start it, which is interesting as well. That's not really a big priority, so... Let's remember, link speeds, it's okay to have link speed late. Let's just focus on our queen zergling. Uh, our, yeah, queen slow zergling. And I should have definitely already been going up to like seven queens, I would say. Um, luckily, he went for a stasis trap there. Probably could have killed a few drones otherwise, but we handled that one okay. Uh, unfortunately, here at my production... Well, I wasn't really freezing up in the production. I was droning okay here. You know, I got back into a slight advantage on the workers, at least temporarily. Oracle's got a queen, which is perfectly fine. You know, I did a good job of preemptively running drones wherever I could. I never filled this hole in with an overlord, which was rough. Uh, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Nah, very, very... So then we're up seven drones at this point. He gets like one or two more. But it's actually pretty good, man, because his oracle's almost dead now. They took massive damage. He only gets one or two drones here. I'm totally fine with. So I actually did a pretty decent job. Just I was a bit behind from early and there was a few like moments where I was just a bit slow to spend the lava. Like here, very slow to spend the lava, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, you could tell I was just, I was a bit discombobulated because these things kept 
catching me kind of off guard. So we just, just got to warm up a little bit more there. Be a bit more comfortable. If you don't take the damage at the start, you should be good. But I think don't panic. Even if I do lose four drones, stay calm and organized. And let's, let's, let's remember some, some basic timings. We know we're playing multiple oracles. We want to go Roach Warrant five minutes, basically. It's, it's kind of the timing for that. Five minute Roach Warrant double gas, I think, is a good timing. Which is basically what I did. And, it, and you should be at three mineral lines fully saturated then as well, which I, I almost was. I was losing a lot of drones, but pretty much it's, it's, it should kind of line up the same way. We're like, I have three mineral lines full. You know, I also have this other thing. All right. And then, and then you just add the other three gases as you, as you saturate, as well as a fourth base as quickly as possible. Getting the fourth up is actually more important than getting past three gases because that gives you more production. And I, I might also get a macro hatchery just to amp up my production. Probably a fifth base I would probably go for. I think fourth and fifth base just gives you the ability to flood lings behind your ravages, which is super powerful. So when you talk about playing the replay game when analyzing your replays, what are some questions you ask yourself, win or lose? I typically first ask to see if I hit my 530, 54 drone, three base saturation timing. I try and guess my opponent's work count as well. Those are really good ones, Carson. Um, it's often just like, I, I, I often try to like, that the first one I always try to do before I look at anything is, is usually something about what my opponent's goal was in that game. So like in that last game, my perception was that he was just chronoing oracles, probing really hard, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I bet at, you know, um, five minutes, uh, 20, he had three bases fully saturated on minerals. I don't, I don't know if or when he ever took gases on his third. Uh, but I reckon 520 fully saturated because even though he did chrono oracles, he only chronoed one adept across the map. I don't feel he really committed that much to like the aggression, which meant lots of chronos on probes. So, you know, let's let's check that. Because then you might, I might look at it and be like, oh, he's only on eight probes on his third, not 16 that I was expecting. And I'm like, you know what? Oh, he actually did four chronos into oracles because he built like four oracles that game. And he went four full chronos. And actually, there was a second chrono in the gateway or something here or there. You know, like, oh, you know what? He was eight probes less. I actually definitely could have been a bit safer or, you know, he wasn't pushing his economy as hard as I thought. Just just little things like that. Um, in general, just analysis, though, if you're going to go deeper than just a simple quiz, uh, try to understand my opponent's build would be good. So that first get replay, I should have checked, but my instincts say he went void ray and then he started the twilight council before starting a second stargate unit and he just distracted me with two adepts and a void ray and then he just hit straight four gates clave adepts and uh and 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 i would check the timing that he hit me i'd be like those adepts because in my mind i was like oh those adepts you know hit like 545 i think they hit closer to like 535 not a big difference but it does matter Means if my Roach Warren only starts at five minutes, for instance, I start Roaches at 5.39 when the Roach Warren finishes. My Roach is on out to six minutes. He's gonna kill all my drones before I get Roaches out. So just just, just checking little details here or there. There's a lot of things you do. PP talk just keeps coming up on your channel. Huh, says Muggle. I mean, I like dick jokes. I always have. I think, I think dicks are one of the funniest things in the fucking world. A lot of uh, life is literally about breeding. That's that's one of our main like directives biologically is to spread our seed. Um, and it's you know it's 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 a very uh, it's basically like like if you look at species, what do you do? As a spider, you're born as a spider. You go, you try to impregnate the lady spider, and then she eats you. You know, like like there's and you don't care because you've done it. You've done your goal. You're like I only duplicated my cells, and that's all you care about. You know, so. For me, I mean, basically, people are out here like, oh, pig, why are you such a child? You talk about about pee-pee or bum-bums and poo-poos and wee-wees all the time. And I'm like, yeah, you know, literally life. Hello? You know? The fucking, the reality that we live in? Hello? People are like, oh, but I, I don't like to talk about because I'm not comfortable with it. I'm like, mate, are you not comfortable with literally like the entire biological fucking reason for our existence is, is to, to, to duplicate and spawn more copies and mutations until we fucking extrapolate across the world? You know, that, that's just how we do it, man. Why, why do you think we want to go out in the stars so much? We just want more places to make babies, you know? That's why we want to uh, go out there and Star Trek this universe, you know? We want to go out there and... <laughs> impregnate the world, you know? What is it? The, the stallion that will mount the world? You know?
Who's missing a body down here? Let's not freeze up too much. Oh shit, I went for the, uh, the not creep tumor version. Ah well. Wanted this one first. Speed. Is it a void ray? I haven't seen an oracle yet, guys. So I'm starting to think it must be a void ray. Well, I was definitely not ready if it was Glaive Adepts again. That was a pretty funny high pitched what? <laughs> that I that was a pretty funny. <laughs> this is the let's just hope I somehow survive.
Is he going full sky toss, do you think, guys? I feel like he might be a crazy person. Look like ground play. I'm really not sure though. Shit. Oh, he's coming. Damn. Is this a three base timing, guys? It might be a three base timing. In which case, he's got me. Oh, I should have already morphed some of these guys, eh? Oh well. Oh, I mean, I definitely canceled that, but that's all right. Got me. No, he does have a fourth. Yeah. GG. Oof. Yeah, so hard to deal with that, man. Mm. I feel like... Obviously, it gives him a lot of freedom, and he's already the better player than I am. So it's it's always going to be feel very frustrating and helpless playing against him. But uh, just got to go with it. Just got to go with it. I should have realized, man. The fact that I built two spores, like... What am I doing? I know, I let him kill multiple overlords as well. Yeah, no, no, no. I just lost to the opening again. I'm playing each game as if I'm playing as if I'm playing against the previous opponent. It's it's really painful because every game I've played against Voidray as if I'm playing against Oracle, and every game I've played against Oracle as if I'm playing against Voidray. And I'm like, fuck, wake up, wake up, man. Just just uh, play a bit faster. I'm gonna take a quick break. Hopefully, reset my brain before the tournament, guys. I haven't been in practice lately. We're not really meant to beat Maples. He's an incredibly good player, but his, uh, his openings are nice. Just fluid, confident, simple, and my play is sloppy. So just goes to show you do need a lot of practice to keep up with the, uh, the very good players in StarCraft. And uh, this build especially is one where I'm very confident playing against lower level Protoss players because they're, they're just very weak with their harassment. I say lower level, I mean like most 5-5 five, five and below players just don't have very fluid harassment, whereas Maples is much better at just kind of going around and just finding openings, and I really need more practice against guys like Maples to, to, to see, because I, I know this, this opening is kind of static, and as a result, you need to be very confident that first five minute, five and a half minute period is like super detailed, and it's not a lot of room for error because you are so immobile, right? So things go really bad when things go problematic.